In this video, we're going to talk about some of the things you do near the end of your mold design project. We're going to start taking a look at how to create workpiece pockets for your core and cavity, as well as how to Boolean different aspects of your design together, such as adding inserts to your lifters or adding your side core to your slider mechanisms. Because up to this point, those have appeared to be separate components. And we need to make sure that they're actually the same component. So when our mold separates, things actually separate the way they're supposed to. So in order to begin looking at that, let's go to the mold assembly tab and we'll look at the workpiece pocket command. This will allow me to create a workpiece pocket in my mold plates, in this case, the blue one and the red one, so that the core and cavity actually fit inside of it and don't necessarily just overlap the geometry. We can actually choose this methodology of creating the workpiece pocket based on different manufacturing types. Here we can do a wire cut clearance. We can do a round corner, a hole clearance. So if our end mill plunges into the sides, we can then route it out. Or the last option is to merge the core and cavity into the mold base plates. If you wanna have the actual core and cavity be part of the entire plate, you can do that too. I'm going to choose the hole clearance option with a eight millimeter diameter tool, and I'll choose OK. And this will generate the workpiece pocket for me. And when I return to my ISO view, you will actually see a better looking set of tooling plates. Now I don't see the overlapping geometry, the artifacting edges that you sometimes see when faces are actually coexisting with another face. Now it looks like a nice pocket for me. Next, we'll take a look at adding our inserts to our lifters and our side cores to our sliders. Here I'll go to my representations node, expand that down, and just switch that over to mold base. Now here you can see the artifacting I was talking about. I have lifters here, these purple arms, and I have inserts on the inside of that core cavity, and they have the faces overlapping each other. Those need to Boolean together. So I'm going to start our mold Boolean command and I'm going to choose the add option here. I'm going to unite the body for the blade. So I need to come in here and just hover for a moment. Need to grab the blade here. Let me rotate that a little bit more. Actually, I'll grab it down here. And then my join body will be the insert up here. Those two items are going to merge together. I'll choose apply. Now, a lot of work is being done in the background to make sure that gets done, so it booleans out for me. Now, to examine what happened there, I'll choose Done. Go find my lifter assembly over here. Just double-click on that. Actually, let me cancel that. What I want to do is right-click on it and choose Open. This will open the lifter assembly for me in its own window, so I can see the boolean that would have taken place with it. And there you can see the insert is now part of the lifter. Go ahead and close that. I'm not going to save the changes. It'll save it when I save the top level assembly. Now I also need to remove that from the core. So I'll go back to my mold boolean command. For my cutting tool, I'm going to choose the blade. And for my body, I'm going to choose the core. Now what this will do is it will remove this geometry from my core plate. So basically, I'll actually have movement inside of it now instead of just overlapping faces. Go ahead and apply that. I'll choose Done. And for my lifter assembly, I'll just turn off the visibility on it by right-clicking on it. And now you can see all that opening space now inside of the core. I'll turn the visibility of that back on. And next, we'll do a mold boolean with our slider. So this will be an add and we'll unite this body to the core on the inside here, this little side core insert, and I'll choose apply. So now we have a united slider with our side core. Just taking a look at the rest of the command here, if I go back to remove, there's actually an auto remove as well. And this will do an interference check on your entire mold and allow you to go through and decide if you wanna do which cutting tools with which body, and you can add those back and forth. So you actually have a way to kind of do a lot of things at once if you feel you need to, if you have that much interference. The manual remove means I know what I want to do. Let me check this and check this and do that. This is a very powerful command to make sure that your mold is actually going to be manufacturable and things don't just overlap. 